I'm really thinking that the YouTubers or the influencers are going to change the way people garden in 2050. It's going to take some time. Soil science is saying something very different to the process that gardeners are using to grow food and uh, ornamentals. Okay, so I want to talk about this row and column business. I'm still a little bit addicted to it. It's really hard to move away from it. But I want everyone to sort of understand what's going to happen in 2050. So soil science and the soil science departments of seed companies, they are going to switch over to a system where they have ground covers, they have um, certain, possibly certain weeds, they have certain um, plants that, vegetables let's say, that work together really well. So basically there's 20 different seeds and what the seed company is going to do is going to not have these in bags, they're going to have them all mixed together. And when these are mixed together, they're going to create a soil coverage package. And what that means is, so instead of having these rows and columns here, you would have a, an array of diverse plants that are going to cover this earth much better. And uh, so you won't have these gaps in here, you won't have this spacing, you won't have all this bare dirt showing. It's basically going to be one set of vegetation that is completely interwoven with each other in the uh, top area and in the root systems as well. So what happens is when you have 40 different plants here, they will feed the soil very differently. And when they feed the soil very differently, there's a different set of energy in the soil that will support plant life a lot better. Diversity in every form helps life grow a lot better and a lot stronger. When you have diverse life, when you have diverse soil, when you have diverse plants, everything works together in such a way that it starts to be on fire. There's so much energy going on. You can actually take the roots out of these plants and the soils around it is completely conditioned. So just imagine having this multiplied by a thousand plants in here where everything is um, charging the soil with a diverse set of um, energy that is feeding the uh, microorganisms and protozoa and all those things. They will get a different set of energy, a different set, uh, set of uh, power to grow these uh, interwoven gardens that will live uh, and provide you with a lot more food because they're just that much stronger. And I have many areas in the garden where everything is completely interwoven and those areas in the garden are 10 times more interactive than anything that you could do in rows and columns. And these rows and columns are, in 2050, they're going to be a thing of the past and I think it's going to be a real uphill battle for many gardeners because they simply can't they can't handle not being in complete charge of their garden so if we were to cultivate this and put those seeds down the the multiple seeds the diverse seed packages there would be no work here anymore the seeds will fill in this entire area if there's a couple of weeds coming through who cares you can't even see them because it's so diverse and so intensely grown together so just wait for it, uh, the influencers and whoever it is, they're going to have to really show these seed companies or whoever it may be that uh, this biodiverse growing, this chaos gardening is the future. And what it really does is it, it allows the gardener to have more time. And uh, this organizational mental sta state that we have in our mind has to change. Can, can gardeners do it? Probably not can they do it when they see the uh, the difference the success then i think that's the only way it's going to happen is having a successful experimentation explaining why these diverse gardens are much more powerful much more powerful than rows and columns
Right. Okay, I want to uh, talk about a big change that's going to happen. And that process is that the most important thing in a garden is to have your garden covered with vegetation and having it working. When your vegetation is covering the ground and supplying all the microorganisms with, with uh, food, you end up with this circular life that is perpetual. It can feed itself all the time. And adding compost is almost a secondary element, but having life covering the ground, green life, or whatever color your plants are, makes all the difference in the world. And soil science is understanding this more and more. Diverse life covering the earth creates diverse soils that are incredibly healthy. So what's going to happen in 2050 is the seed companies, for example, are going to sell biodiverse seed packages. So what you do is you dig up a 10 meter by 10 meter or 5 meter by 5 meter piece of your land and you seed this seed mix that is completely diverse, completely working with each other and you'll have this chaos area of life that is helping each other, moving life forward and creating this incredible soil diversity and soil energy. Now, what's it going to take for us to get to that stage? It's going to be a relearning, a re-education process where people understand that soil is healthy when it's covered with diverse life and this diverse life is looked after with compost, a little bit of compost, a little bit of moisture and care from the gardener. And when you have a 10 meter by 10 meter plot that's completely covered with life, I'll tell you something, your soil has never worked as hard as that. Your soil has never been fed as well as that. Your soil is on fire, everything is working together and all of a sudden you have this garden that is uh, beyond anything you've ever recognized. And this biodiverse type of seeding or biodiverse type of seed packages that they're going to make in the future is going to remove an entire section of workload off the uh, gardener. So the gardener is going to have a lot more time to develop more areas in their garden because the areas that they chaos garden are going to become very maintenance free, almost like you don't need to push this row and column energy into those gardens anymore. They will overgrow, they will get big, they will cover the earth, they will work together, they will understand how uh, the companion plants are working together. There'll be so much food in the ground, so much energy in the ground, that you will be amazed how efficient this whole system can work. Everything will work together in such a way that we'll have so much food and so much energy everywhere and this healing mechanism in your garden will be very, very uh, strong. You won't see too many things getting tired anymore. Your plants will look good instead of looking worn out. And uh, that will be the change that's going to happen in 2050. There will be a real push towards um, companion plants, biodiversity, and the rows and columns will be a thing of the past.